What is going on YouTube? It is fresh. Come back at you guys with yet again another Minecraft tutorial. And today what I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to create your own Minecraft server. So without further ado, let's get right into the video, you guys. So the first thing that I'm gonna have you guys do is to actually acquire this Minecraft server download 1.15. Uh, we're gonna need this as well. The link in the description is gonna be for the download and server. So usually when you go to the Minecraft website, it won't actually give you this. You have to actually log into your account. But I'm gonna put the fast, the easy link to get to the Minecraft Java server. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and download this. Um, when you first download it, usually what it does is it's gonna show this, gonna say that it's a dangerous file. It's really not, it's from Minecraft and it's not anything malicious whatsoever. So just go ahead and press keep. And then you're gonna need this, the Minecraft run code. So this could be the run code that we'll be putting in a batch file. So go ahead and copy this really quick and I'll take you guys over and we'll go ahead and um, put this to work. One thing that I should know before actually going anywhere is you're gonna be needing to run 64-bit Java 4 Windows or whatever um, you're running, whether it be Mac or uh, Linux. So go ahead and grab the Minecraft or the Java 64. So once you get out here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna create a folder. We're gonna go ahead and create a folder. I call it the Minecraft server. Basically all it's gonna be, and we're gonna go ahead and this is where we're basically going to put everything for our server so we're gonna put that right there this is what we downloaded from the internet for your run go ahead and open this up you're gonna press new go down to text document we're gonna call this start go ahead and press start and what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy and paste what we got earlier from the website into the notepad. So we're gonna bring this over and we're gonna bring this right here. So this is basically what's going to be running and this is where the um, this is gonna be titled. So basically we're gonna change the name of this and also right here, so I'll show you guys that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this. We're gonna make it match, match the same name as our server, as queued right here. So we'll go ahead and do that right there, and it will know, or Minecraft, the code will know what to run, and it'll run this file right here. And then you can want the no GUI, leave that, just so that you don't get any pop-ups from the regular Minecraft um, pop-up. Um, and then you can go ahead and press enter and press pause. So if we do have any errors whatsoever, the batch file will actually stay open, the BIOS will stay open, so that if there were any errors, you can go ahead and read it. If you were not to put this, then it would automatically close after your server is done. So go ahead and keep this, and we're gonna go ahead and save it. I'm gonna save it as a batch file, so we're gonna do start.bat. Go ahead and go down to all files, and we do start.bat. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna close this. And then this is going to be where you run your server. This will be your start button. So now that we have our start button, we can go ahead and double click on it. And what it's gonna do is it's going to run the server for us really quick. It says press any key to continue. All right, cool. So it went ahead, it popped up, it gave us a little bit more information for our actual server, the logs, properties, da da da. It's actually a really easy way you can actually check um, what version of Java you have if you come right here and you do CMD into your um, search. And then what we do is we do Java, you do that version, then that, then you do D64. It'll tell you what version of Java you are actually running on your computer. So as you can see, I have the newer one, the up to date, Hotspot 64 bit server vm da 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 so once you figure that out you can go ahead and close this that's just an easy way to tell you what version you're running so you won't have to run around and download another version now what we have to do is go ahead and we go into our end user license agreement the eula file and we're gonna go ahead from the false change this to true then we can go ahead and save it exit it so now that we've done that we can go ahead and restart our server and it should work now Yes, allow access. This is just Java asking for certain things. Once this right here gets to about 99%, we're gonna press stop. It's generating more folders. 
and it's generating more files as you can see right there um, to our actual server so after it gets to the top percent what we're gonna do is we press stop you don't want to click the exit button that's how you damage your server or possibly corrupt different parts of your world or files so you don't want to press this go ahead and press stop press enter and it will show you that it's saving everything it will save everything properly and it's properly stopping your server press any key to continue go ahead close that down and now we have a whole bunch more files so we're gonna go ahead and move this file to the top so the only major thing we're gonna go ahead and look at is the server properties we're gonna go ahead and right click it and we do open with we're gonna go to more apps go to your notepad right here and we'll use this to open most of these files click OK and then what we're gonna do is this will open up all of your server properties now the only important thing we're really gonna need to look at is the server port number so this right here this could be the big thing that we need to look at I'm gonna have an entirely separate video about this so it'll be up in the top right it'll pop up right about now um, the server port and port forwarding you're gonna be able to need admin access to log into your router so that incoming traffic can actually get through your firewall and find and or join your server so that's what this is gonna be about um, this could be in a completely different video on how to set this up and how to make sure that you have this correct so that people can in fact find your server and we're gonna go ahead and come down here and change the message of the day to and so after that we can just go ahead and go to the file and then save exit this out and I'll be having a entire video dedicated to your server properties just so that you guys can see exactly what you can or what you need to do for your Minecraft server after that we're gonna go ahead and go to start and we go ahead and start the server back up and I'll get with you guys as soon as it's done so we have finished loading our world and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to join your own world when you're on the um, once you're on the same computer and then I'll also be showing you guys how to do it if you want incoming traffic like I said that'll be in a completely different video but we're gonna go ahead and load into a 1.15 let's go ahead and do that we go ahead and do play and I'll give it to you guys as soon as it loads alright so the game's done loading and we're going to during the only play you may expose to chat message or other yeah, that's interesting I have not seen that before go ahead and proceed and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a direct connect to a server now you can either do zero or you can also do local host so for this this is only for you if you're hosting the server on the same computer um, as you're running the server so if you're hosting it this is to join that same one this is not for people from other computers to join you I'm gonna go ahead and turn the master volume down because it's fucking obnoxious just like I said go to this and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try zero just to show you guys <clears throat> And it is encrypting and now we are joining the world and this is the world that we have hosted on our computer this is the world now there are ways that you can um, absolutely edit edit your world edit what you want it to look like um, edit the seed and I can show you guys that in a different video but we're in the world now you guys All right, so for those of you who are gonna be server operators fun little thing last things gonna be if you do um, as you can see, my name right here is Sage Moon Dancer. We're gonna go ahead and do OP. I'm gonna do Sage Moon Dancer. Go ahead and press Enter. Made Sage Moon Dancer a server operator, which gives you access to cheats and anything like changing your game mode. So we're gonna do Game Mode One, or let me see, Game Mode Creative. And then it'll change your game mode to creative or whatever you feel like doing. So yeah, you guys, that is how to create your own Minecraft server. And I'll be having a video link. It'll be at the end of this video on how to host publicly your brand new Minecraft server and how you can host it yourself. I have a whole nother video on that. This is just a video on how to, how to create it and obviously going to be editing and building lots of cool things for your Minecraft server. I hope this video was helpful. And if you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like it you guys, hope everybody did enjoy the video, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends, and I will see you guys in the next video.